Hi everyone, I'm Ricardo Enriquez, group leader at University College London. I want to tell you a bit about the projects we just published in Nature Communications, a collaboration with this guy. I'm Christophe Letelier from Marseille, and uh, I'm very happy to be here today. We've developed a Lego-based fluid exchange system that can work on top of a microscope. In practice, it makes it super easy to change the liquid environment of the sample as you image. The device is called NanoJ Fluidix, but we have a different nickname for it, Pumpy Pump Face. Pumpy is easy to build, extremely inexpensive, and allows you to do really cool experiments. Hi, I'm Roman Lane. Let me tell you about some of the experiments that we can do with Pumpy. Pumpy can automatically cycle through multi-step liquid exchange onto the sample. This allows it to carry out protocols with several labeling steps sequentially. For example, here we started a live cell experiment where we detected cells entering mitosis and triggered the labeling sequence followed by large multicolor imaging. We then extended these experiments to show that it's possible to do unsupervised control of the microscope and fluidics. Here, a specifically designed pattern recognition algorithm searches for well-defined morphological features that trigger fixation and labeling. This allows us to analyze a large number of cells all precisely fixed at the same stage of the cell cycle. We also wanted to show the capacity of Pumpy to enhance super-resolution imaging. In this experiment, I'm showing you the actin cortex in a live cell imaged by TURF, which we're going to super resolve using the SURF method. We're now looking at the same cell, but fixed and imaged by STORM, achieving much higher resolution. We're able to get the best of both worlds, to observe the live cell dynamics, but only with a mild resolution increase. But when the cell is fixed, we can increase considerably the resolution by taking as much time as needed to do single molecule localization. Once the cell is fixed, we can use Pumpy for sequential labeling and observe a large number of different proteins. Here we stained the actin cortex and imaged it by storm. Next, we bleach out the storm level. Pumpy then dynamically labels mitochondria and vimentin using DNA paint. It then removes these labels and relabels for clatrin and tubulin. The number of different protein types you can image is theoretically unlimited. In other words, Pumpy rocks. So build yourself a Pumpy, I'm sure you'll like it.